ओम शांति ओम शांति we welcome you in avyakti parivar today is day 4 perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars one direction loving and cooperative avyakt signals are just as the father's sanskars are of constant generosity of the benefactor selfless merciful and of uplifting others in the same way you children should have the same sanskars always to be in unity in one direction loving cooperative and in harmony in your sanskars is greatness let there not be any conflict of sanskars but constantly continue to perform the dance of the harmony of sanskars to harmonize sanskars means to bring perfection and time close now we will listen to mohini didi om shanti om shanti hum sab ka ye sabhagya hai it is a fortune ki hamara ba that our father teacher sadguru baba is giving us teachings at every step gives us directions nahi to lakshya mil raha otherwise we have the aim but kisko follow kare kaise kare along with that whom to follow how to follow today in the world there is no example for that but our baba ek udaharan hai aap sab ke liye is an example for all of us in the incorporeal form shiv baba the virtues of shiv baba his sanskars they praise in the path of devotion also but in a practical way in a corporeal form in a human form he is in front of us somebody has projected practically and has used it so it becomes easy for us that baba did it in this way so in front of us corporeal brahma baba is an example looking at him how he did it how in the human form through sakar brahma baba's body how to do the actions mind your thoughts words actions relationships and your dealings with people those sanskars in the form of it is clearly in front of us he used his virtues his sanskars so baba is signaling all of us children that child it is very important to follow one direction everybody has their own thoughts their own opinions to have a different thought is okay but do not have conflicts in that so for that which virtues and sanskars we should pay attention to to baba keh rahe hain ki baba is saying jaise baap ke sanskar just as the father's sanskars are of constant generosity first of all many people used to ask question that are there sanskars in baba or not kyunki baba ke sanskar kahan se bane from where did baba's sanskars were created kehte hain baba ke bhi we say baba also has sanskars just as the father's sanskars are of constant generosity of the benefactor always he used to say that let everybody benefit baba says selfless swarat mein bhi insaan ki vichar in selfishness a person's thoughts are 
affected. So Baba says, become merciful and of uplifting others. Let anybody uplift us or not, but we have to think that let this person benefit. So we have to be merciful. So in the same way, you children should have the same sanskars. So we should keep attention on that today, whatever we are thinking, speaking, in that we should be selfless, merciful, generous, benefactor, and uplifting others. These are the sanskars and virtues we should have. So always to be in unity, in one direction. Loving, cooperative, and in harmony, in your sanskars is greatness. So you should agree. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we don't. So Baba is saying, so always to be in unity, in one direction, loving, cooperative, and in harmony, in your sanskars is greatness. Let there not be any conflict of sanskars, but constantly continue to perform the dance of the harmony of sanskars. To harmonize sanskars means to bring perfection and time close. So as we keep moving forward and if, if there is purity, it should be complete 100%. So as the percentage will be complete that much, it will be easy to follow directions to follow one direction and we will be that much loving and cooperative. As much as we progress ahead, so it's very important to have love for each other because the seniors who are there, they are revealed in front of everyone. And their sanskars are visible. That how do they talk with each other, whether they have respect for each other or not, whether they are selfless or not. These virtues and sanskars are called software. One is hardware, another one is software. So, the human beings, their, of their habits, their behavior of humility, whether their willpower is strong, it shouldn't be forceful. They don't have pressure on themselves or on others. One is naturally humble. I am doing whatever I'm doing. It is according to Baba's directions. Whatever I have to do, those are Baba's sanskars. So Baba, how much clearly he shows us the way. And we also know that if we keep progressing at a good speed, then the road will be clear. You, if you can see the road clear, then only you can increase the speed, otherwise not. So, Baba, on every step, the understandings that he gives us, those are, he's guiding us. And if the road is clear, so then it is easy 
and we make Baba's sanskars as our sanskars and become loving and cooperative. Becoming cooperative is very important. If there is love, but there is no cooperation, then because you're loving, so that is why there is cooperation. So in the whole day, what should be awareness that we have to be loving? We have to be, follow one direction and be cooperative. And Baba's sanskars, Baba's virtues, I have to imbibe. It's a beautiful signal for today. Whole day, have this aim and make effort and make your fortune. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Avyat Murli Revision from 1969 onwards, Multi-Million Fold Fortune and Blessings. Avyat Murli is 24 December 1972, Responsibilities of Confluence Aged Elevated Souls. Do all of you now know the lawmaker, that is Vidhata, also implies, implies the bestower of wisdom, the law and the method very well. If you know the lawmaker, then you automatically have the laws and methods in your intellect and in your actions. Through the lawmaker, all you elevated souls have become lawmakers also. Do you perform every action considering yourself to be this? The elevated actions of your Brahmins at this time become the laws for the whole world throughout the entire Kalpa. The actions of you Brahmins are of such importance. Do you perform every action whilst considering it to be of this much importance? You have to perform every action whilst considering yourself to be a creator of the laws. From when and through whom do all the systems that continue throughout the cycle begin? Whatever the systems and customs of you Brahmins are at this time in your practical life, they become the eternal laws for all time. By performing every action with this awareness, there will never be any carelessness. You have to continue to move along according to to the right method whilst being the embodiment of this awareness. Do you have the awareness that you have to perform actions whilst considering yourself to have such a huge responsibility? The specialty of the Confluence Age is that every elevated soul has a responsibility it is not that just a few special souls have been given the responsibility and that you are the ones who follow those laws made by them. No, each soul is one who creates the laws now. With this faith, you will be able to attain complete success in every action because by considering yourself to be a creator of the law, you will perform every action with the accurate method. Through using the accurate method, you definitely receive complete success in order to attain success if you clearly have the understanding of one aspect 
in the intellect, then you can easily attain success. What is this one aspect? Why do you forget to have this awareness? What is the aspect that makes this happen? If you learn just one yukti, you can easily become free from forgetting for all time. What is that yukti? For anything that comes in front of you as an obstacle, if you learn the yukti to transform this thing that comes in front of you, you can become completely free from obstacles. Because of forgetting, there is wastage in your awareness, attitude, vision and connections. If you learn how to transform all these things, then there can be that firmness that is strength, a wasteful awareness that is the awareness of the body and bodily relations, the awareness of material things for the body becomes instrumental in making you forget the right awareness. If you learn how to transform the awareness of the body and bodily relations and the awareness of material things for the body, then you cannot create a strong stage. In the same way, when you learn how to transform your attitude, vision and relations, then you will come close to perfection. You do not know the method to transform these things. Murli will be continued tomorrow. Om Shanti.